In 2021, Johnny Depp's extravagant French village came up for sale, again, with a $55 million price tag. The estate is essentially its own mini town boasting a main residence, six guest cottages, and a handful of other features like a wine cave, private bistro, and skate park. Johnny has spent about $10 million to update and renovate the charming structures over the years which date back to the early 1800s. While he keeps it tightly under wraps, the actor's main home has long been a Hollywood Hills spread consisting of five houses, boasting a signature gothic castle look throughout. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Johnny Depp is an actor, producer and musician well known for his performances as eccentric characters in films, including a handful working alongside director Tim Burton in films such as Edward Scissorhands. Over the years, Johnny has received multiple awards and accolades and he's been dubbed one of the world's biggest film stars along with one of the highest paid at that. While reports claim that Depp has lost about $650 million over the last decade or so, his fortune is still estimated to sit around $150 million. Johnny has been quite the lavish spender and it's no surprise that his real estate holdings are extravagant to say the least. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and in this one, we're talking about where Johnny Depp calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 2021, Johnny Depp's impressive French estate came back on the market for $55.5 million. While he last listed it in 2015 and 2016, the price wavered between $25 million and $63 million, but the time may be right this time to find a new buyer. His French estate is essentially its own private village, located in Plan de la Tour, about 10 miles away from the upscale Yacht Harbour in Saint-Tropez in the south of France. Johnny purchased the sprawling property for an undisclosed disclose amount in 2001, but we do know he spent about $10 million more to update and renovate the estate over the years since it dates back to the 1800s. Spanning about 37 acres of land, the spread boasts everything from a bistro restaurant to its own mini church, along with numerous other stone built structures. The village is packed with charm as well as tons of space, including 15 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms spread over one main house and six guest cottages. The main house boasts 4,500 square feet of space with five beds, 3.5 baths, and stunning living spaces, many of which are decorated in a gothic and medieval style, which it appears Johnny is a fan of. Well, so am I. The main house also has a big swimming pool situated on the rooftop, while one of the rooms has been transformed into an art studio. We can also see a gorgeous double height living area with stone walls and gallery up above, as well as wood beam ceilings and a fireplace. The church on the property was actually transformed into a guest house where the confessional became the walk-in closet. Guests can also opt to stay in a gypsy style covered wagon which serves as another quirky suite, boasting sleeping quarters and a bathroom and kitchen of its own. It said that Johnny decorated the structures himself and I think he did a great job. Elsewhere there's a pirate-like hangout space and wine cave on the property as well as a full gym and two swimming pools. That's not enough, the village even has its very own complete bistro restaurant, which Johnny dubbed Cafe Marcheline, with the nearby town square offering outdoor dining too. Johnny spent most of his time here during the 14 years he was with French star Vanessa Paradis and their two children, Lily Rose and Jack. Johnny even had a skate park built here for his son Jack at the time. The village was complete with lush surroundings with 300 year old oaks, olive trees, vineyards and more. While Johnny keeps his main estate in Los Angeles highly private, we do know he purchased the first property back in 1995 for a reported $2.15 million. It's said that considering he acquired the surrounding properties to create a compound in total, it's now made up of five separate houses. His estate is located in the Hollywood Hills area of Los Angeles on a tiny street tucked behind the famous Chateau Marmont Hotel on Sunset Boulevard. And these days, well, it's estimated to be worth over $19 million million dollars. 
It's assumed that all of these structures boast a total of around 35 to 40 bedrooms as well as 40 to 50 bathrooms. The style of the home supposedly boasts a signature castle gothic look which Depp is known for. The size of the main mansion is said to stand 7,430 square feet of space with 8 bedrooms and 10 baths, one of which is a master suite with fireplace and the interiors are designed in Johnny's signature style. There's a sprawling swimming pool, a hot tub, large backyard and multiple parking areas. His main castle has an interesting history in fact. It was actually owned by the 1930s Dracula star Bella Lugosi. During the pandemic, Johnny actually joined Instagram and showed some glimpses of his Hollywood mansion, including a painting that he's been working on for an alleged 14 years. In 2016, Depp actually auctioned off his multi-million dollar collection with work from famous artists, including nine pieces by Jean-Michel Basquiat. When it comes to his own work, aside from that bottle of wine painting, Johnny likes to paint elephants as well, and in 2017, he surprised Ellen DeGeneres on the show with her very own elephant painting. While rumors state the actress considered building an underground tunnel between his Hollywood residences to connect them all to the main house, there's no word that he ever got around to doing that yet. Before we wrap up this house tour, let's look at a place Johnny used to own in the past. While he's a Hollywood star, the actor was born in Owensboro, Kentucky. While he moved around a lot as a kid, he had a soft spot for this area, buying a house there in 1995, selling it, and then buying it back in 2005. His mother, Betty Sue, lived at this horse farm Johnny purchased for some years, but she passed away in 2016, which likely led him to put the 41-acre property on the market a year later. The home was situated on the outskirts of Lexington, Kentucky, and cost him a modest 950 k the first time he bought it. When Johnny bought the home back in 2005, to gift to his mom, it cost him $2 million. He ended up nicknaming the house Betty Sue's Family Farm in her honor. The style of the home is certainly not in Johnny's taste, but it boasts a traditional, very modest feel. There was a 6,600 square foot main house made of brick, with seven bedrooms and six baths, as well as a guest house, a four car garage, and three barns, which is enough for any equestrian or horse lover. Inside the main house, there are plenty of country style furnishings and traditional decor, including some carpet in the kitchen, which is super weird. <laughs> the classic farm even had an in-ground pool out back and five paddocks for horses. Johnny's former property was put up for auction in 2017, but the top offer was refused, and in 2020 it finally sold, but for only $1.35 million. Well, now we've taken a look at Johnny Depp's real estate, so that brings this house tour to an end. After checking out his full-on French village, as well as what we know about his longtime Hollywood Hills property, what did you think? How cool is that French village and what is your favorite part about it? It's hard to choose because not only do I love the charming old world design, but that bistro restaurant is super cool. I bet hosting guests here would be quite the experience. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Johnny's estates past and present in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and add me on Instagram to chat. I'll see you all next time. Bye!